Sangkatano sarilai ailo was a peak of The Sound of Shadows, a food, music and shadow adventure through some of the traditions and tastes of Indonesia, led by Bianca Gannon and myself. You might have spotted some shadow puppets made by kids. Today, I'll show you how you too can make a shadow puppet at home, inspired by these. Indonesian Wayang Kulit. Ayo! Let's go! Wayang Kulit are shadow puppets from Java and Bali in Indonesia. The Dalang, or puppeteer, sits under the screen and performs multiple characters, including their voices, to tell a story. Seated behind the Dalang is a gamelan ensemble who accompany the performance. Wayang Kulit can be enjoyed from both sides of the screen. The audience can watch the colourful puppets on one side, or just the puppet shadows on the other. Often, Wayang Kulit performances will last for hours and continue all night even. Traditionally, Wayang Kulit are made from kulit, leather, such as buffalo hide, and are intricately cut and painted. Today, we'll be making our puppet from materials you might already have at home. Let's take a look at some of the creatures in the rice field for some inspiration for our character. When I've lived near the rice fields, I've enjoyed noticing the creatures who visit and share the rice paddy with humans. I love listening to the frogs and insects at night and being visited by fireflies, like little yellow-green airborne disco parties. Some farmers use the help of buffalo to plough their fields. Some of these photos are of the rice fields near my uncle and auntie's place in central Java. My uncle often takes his ducks to visit the field so they can nibble on insects and snails that live there. Sometimes there are dragons in the rice field too. So these are the materials we'll need for our shadow puppet. Um, see what you have at home. But the cardboard you could use a box um, of cereal or something like this. I'll be using this one which is A3 size and about 250 GSM. 
Um, a manila folder is also a good option, as well as cardboard, scissors, masking tape, a torch or a light source to make those shadows, a pencil, a texture or a thick pen, and a skewer. Again, see what you have at home. Um, this would be fine, something like that. I found this. And because I'm going to be using a larger piece of cardboard, I might go with this one today. So I'm going to sketch a duck. Um, and yeah, you choose whichever creature it is you would like to make it. Um, my tip is that you make it as large as you can on your piece of cardboard. And that will um, make it easier to cut out later and means you can um, it'll be easier to add details later in the process um, and we'll use two different ways to cut them out one of them is um, using scissors and the other way is to make holes using um, the sharp end of our skewer. So for instance, I would like to make a hole for the beak of my duck um, and later we'll use the skewer to make some holes. So let's So I'm going to cut this out for the eye and I'm going to give my duck a wing by cutting out these shapes. I'm also going to add some feather shapes, so that's a, we'll cut those later. Now we're going to get our pen and make the outline to help us cut it out in a moment. And we can trace our pencil line and add some more details. I'm going to add some feathery bits. Okay, let's get cutting. Let's, first, let's cut it out. We want light to come through in the eye, so we're going to fold it and make a little cut to help us then cut that shape out. Quit using that same technique, I'm now going to make some cuts of these V shapes. So fold it and make a little cut. I'm going to make a triangle here in order to make a V hole. And I'm going to repeat that with all the places where I want a V. And the last one. Okay. Now I want to cut out these lines that will form the wing. So we'll do the same 
process of folding it. I'm going to, because I want to cut along here, I'm going to fold it this way. And I'll cut out that shape, following the text line approximately. And because it's going to be a shadow, we won't be able to see what's been drawn on the puppet. Now I'm going to cut this out with the same technique. Fold and cut. Okay, let's go test out to see what its shadow looks like at the moment. Now we're going to add some more holes, just for variation, with a skewer. Poking it through and not skewering our finger. Then we finished cutting and making all the holes and details, we can add our stick, our skewer. So cut yourself some pieces of masking tape. We're gonna secure our skewer here along the leg. Put a piece of tape there. And another piece. Okay, let's test out our shadow puppet. Thanks for tuning in. Have fun creating your shadow puppets and experimenting with shadows.